Dust off your magic carpet, Aladdin is getting around two. Hope Hicks is headed back to the White House, Ray Donovan may not be dead yet, and Sansa Stark, aka Sophie Turner, and husband Joe Jonas could have a new bonus Jonas on the way. I'm Tiffany Taylor, and right now I've got the top stories you need to know today from The Hollywood Reporter News. First, following the success of Guy Ritchie's live-action Aladdin, a sequel to the 2019 blockbuster is in the works. THR's Neha Joy in New York has all the details. Will Smith, Mina Masood, and Naomi Scott are all expected to reprise their roles as Genie, Aladdin, and Jasmine respectively, while Guy Ritchie is set to return to the director's chair. Now, last year's live-action adaptation was based on the 1992 animated film about the titular street urchin who, with the help of a magic genie, wins over the heart of one Princess Jasmine. Now, as far as writers are concerned, the studio has reportedly hired John Gaddins from Flight and Real Steel, as well as Andrea Burlock from Straight Outta Compton and The Kitchen to plot the new sequel. Hey, can you make me a prince? There is a lot of gray area in Make Me a Prince. I could just make you a prince. Oh, no. Y'all see my palace? But what exactly that plot will be, we're not entirely sure yet, but it's been said at one point that the studio and producers were looking at other stories from 1001 Nights, the collection of Middle Eastern folk tales that inspired the animated classic, and also houses Alibaba and the Forty Thieves, as well as Sinbad the Sailor. Up next, Hope Hicks is on the move once again. The Hollywood Reporter has confirmed that the Fox Corporation chief communications officer is leaving the company to return to the Trump White House. Hicks had previously served as White House communications director, but now, according to the New York Times, Hicks will be a senior counselor to President Donald Trump, working with advisor Jared Kushner. It was not immediately clear who would succeed her at Fox Corp, but a statement from a Fox spokesperson said that the company would name a new chief communications officer in the near future. Hicks' shift to Fox was but one example of a revolving door of sorts between Fox, mostly Fox News, and the White House. After Hicks left the White House, the administration hired former Fox News producer Bill Shine to lead its communication efforts. Meanwhile, former press secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders joined Fox News as a contributor after leaving the administration. And Dono fans, rejoice. Ray Donovan may not be dead yet. Star Lee Schreiber is hinting that the recently canceled Showtime series could return to wrap up its story. You, you know what? You know what? Pop, you're right. It's not fair. In an Instagram post late Wednesday, Schreiber wrote, It's hard to describe how amazing it feels to those of us in the Ray Donovan family, who have been lucky enough to experience the overwhelming love and support that all of you have expressed for our show since the news broke that Ray would not return. What's even more incredible is that it seems your voices have been heard. Too soon to say how or when, but with a little luck and your ongoing support, there will be more Ray Donovan. So to all the Dono fans who got their bats out and beat the odds, thank you. Showtime declined to comment, and The Hollywood Reporter has also reached out to producer Entertainment One for comment. Showtime's cancellation of the series came as a surprise, as the seventh season ended with a cliffhanger in January. Showrunner David Hollander has said in interviews that he was preparing for another season. Daryl! Finally, Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas just may have a new bonus Jonas on the way. Neha Joy has more on that story, too. It's been widely reported that the couple is pregnant and expecting their first child together due later this year. So expect a little Jonas Jr. to be running around in the near future. The exciting baby news comes just nine months after the Game of Thrones star and the Jonas brother tied the knot in Las Vegas after the 2019 Billboard Music Awards with Diplo famously live streaming the entire event. I'm a sucker for you. The couple then exchanged vows at a more formal second wedding in Paris a month later on June 29th, 2019. The couple's reps declined to comment to The Hollywood Reporter. For much more on all these stories and the latest Hollywood news, head to THR.com and be sure to subscribe to our THR News YouTube channel. Until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.